Hello guys and welcome to the Batmobile Usage Guide. First, turn on both the Batmobile and the Bat Controller. On Bat Controller, you'll find a switch on the bottom right side that you have to push to turn it on. To turn on the Batmobile, you must click on a push button at the bottom. When you turn it on, the LEDs at the bottom of the Batmobile will glow green before shimmering red. Charge your Batmobile and Bat Controller before you use them for the first time. Also, if you try to start the Batmobile but nothing happens, press and hold the power button for 5 seconds, then click it again. If nothing happens, charge your Batmobile. You are now ready for the next step. Connecting the devices. There are two options for connecting them. Directly or via Wi-Fi. Let's start by connecting them directly. Position the Batmobile's camera in front of the Bat Controller. If they don't connect automatically, try to move the camera and display closer and further from each other until you hear a sound. When you successfully connect them, the main menu of your Bat Controller will appear and the LEDs at the bottom of the Batmobile will begin to change colors. A and B buttons on the right side are used to enter, confirm, save and exit apps. There is also a menu button at the top that will always take you to the main menu. Let's roam the menu. There is a manual control, simple programming, dance mode, ball tracking, marker tracking and settings in the menu. Let's kick off with the manual control. Once you're here, you'll be able to drive your Batmobile around and control it using the Bat Controller. Using the buttons on the left side, you'll be able to move your Batmobile back and forth, right and left. The manual control also includes a fun feature called the boost bar. As you can see, the display has a bar on the left side. When we use the boost bar, it decreases. When we do not use it, it increases. Begin driving, press and hold the A button to make it go faster and make cool sounds. Uh oh, that's a crash. Never mind, we are back on track. Next up, simple programming. This is an on-device coding app that lets you create a simple sequence of predefined functions such as driving in various directions, lightening LEDs, making sounds and so on. You have the option of driving, playing with the underlights, front and back lights, sound and using a delay. You can edit the action you selected by clicking the A button and you can return to the menu by clicking the B button. By clicking on the plus sign, you can access a menu with the various actions your Batmobile can perform. In the driving section, you can control the speed, direction and duration of the Batmobile's drive. You can turn on and off the front and back lights. You can change the color of the LEDs in the underlights. You can select which sound to hear in the sound action. If you choose the delay, you can also specify how much time will elapse between separate actions. Once you've created the program you want to run, hold down the A key. When the program begins, you'll see what the Batmobile's camera sees. Icons at the bottom indicating which action is next. To delete the program, press B. By holding down the B button, you can switch from manual to autopilot mode. When the Batmobile is in the process of switching, you will receive a note on Bat Controller informing you of what's going on. Assuming manual control. When in autopilot mode, you can select which mode you want your Batmobile to perform by pressing the left and right buttons. Now the dance mode. In idle mode, the Batmobile is motionless and makes no sounds. Let's check the other modes Batmobile has and what it can do.
you must be wondering why you received one blue ball in the kit. Once you've entered the ball tracking app, place the ball in front of the Batmobile, not too close, not too far, and Batmobile will follow the ball wherever it goes. Check out the LEDs, they are lightning in the ball's color. Another add-on included in the kit is a variety of markers with different Aruko codes. They function similarly to the ball. Place them in front of the Batmobile's camera and see what Batmobile can do. Headlights on. Initiating burnout sequence. Initiating 360 rotation. Let's go to settings. You can change the sound volume on Batmobile and the controller's shutdown time here. We can also adjust the brightness of the screen. The screen brightness will change automatically when the devices are paired and will return to the selected brightness after they are paired. Pairing with another Batmobile is used to disconnect the Bat controller from the currently connected Batmobile. You can also connect the devices to your Wi-Fi so they can have a larger range. There is a limitation to 24 letters in the name of the network and 23 for the password. If your Batmobile or Bat controller has a low battery, you will get a pop-up message on the Bat controller and both devices will turn off. To turn off your devices, click on the Bat controller switch and press the Batmobile's push button for 2 seconds. Once you know how to use it, connect it to your PC, go to code.circuitmess.com and start a new adventure.